Hello everyone, um, this is today I'll be doing a simple video to um, explain to you the setup I use for x -Plane. So first off, I've got x here, I've got uh, a MacBook Air, it's uh, a 2015 version, you know, works x quite well for um, how I want to use it. Um, in terms of all the settings, I've got the minimum graphics settings installed, um, so, but it works well. Um, so that's my computer, you know, I hope to, you know, one day get a good PC, good setup as well, so I can run it, explain really well. Um, but for now, that's all it is. Uh, then I've got the Logitech uh, Flight Yoke. So it's, um, yeah, now I've also got the Logitech Flight Yoke. Um, so it's really good, I love using it. Um, it's got the function, you can use it to time in between your legs and press start and stop so that's really good and then you can also reset it um, and then the next thing I've also got is the um, the throttle quadrant so it's got um, the throttle um, then we've got the pitch the blue lever then we've got the mixture as well so it works really well each of the controls and uh, that's plugged in over here into the throttle quadrant and it's good it's got a lot more USB ports so you can expand over time, you can put in you know the six pack instruments. You can put in autopilot system, your radios, your battery and alternator. So you can put in all those systems in with uh, the Logic Tech setup. And then finally, I've got the rudder pedals. So uh, these are really good. Um, you know, in controlling the yaw of the airplane. So and also braking as well. So it's good for um, cross wind practice. Uh, and just it moves you know exactly or similar to how rudder pedals and moves and you've got the brakes at the front as well so um yeah that's about it that's quite a simple sort of setup you know over time you know i hope to get a good computer and possibly even add those um upgrades to it but for now it, it helps to keep my um flying skills in check as well so thank you all so much for watching um and see you next time